Hello beautiful blockchain people. Today let's talk about some really very popular cryptocurrencies like Ethereum, uh, Dogecoin because recently I saw uh, some uh, let's say news or discussions on forums about Dogecoin, about Elon Musk, about Starlink. So probably most of you have seen that recently uh, Elon Musk he gave hints that Starlink is probably going to introduce or accept Dogecoin and such kind of rumors actually appeared and I saw them on uh, Twitter. So today let's talk about who is who. So how all these like ecosystems from the centralized world and the cryptocurrency world are uh, interconnected. For example, we know that Elon Musk is the person, let's say, behind Dogecoin to some extent. So he's one of the key holders or influencers. And uh, of course, we know that Elon Musk is probably a person, a front face of some businesses. So there are many uh, much more powerful businesses behind him, but he's, uh, let's say, associated with Dogecoin. So Elon Musk is associated with Dogecoin. Also, if we have a look at the uh, history of his, let's say, uh, growth in the financial wor world, we know that Elon Musk was associated with PayPal. To some extent, he is considered to be one of the co-founders of PayPal, this centralized financial institution that is very popular in the United States and probably in Canada. So he is also, let's say, uh, considered to be the co-founder of PayPal. So I would say that to some extent, if Elon Musk is one of the co-founders of PayPal, and nowadays he is a co uh, let's say, uh, one of the key persons behind Dogecoin. This means that PayPal to some extent has influence on Dogecoin or Dogecoin belongs to uh, PayPal. Moreover, uh, let me mention that we know, for example, Vitalik Buterin, he is the co-founder of Ethereum. So he is the person or uh, the front face of Ethereum. Uh, we know very well how everything started. He used to be a blogger in 2012 and 2013. He used to work for Bitcoin Magazine or he was also one of the co-founders, if I'm not wrong, of Bitcoin Magazine. Later, Peter Thiel, it was in 2013, Peter Thiel, who is the co-founder, PayPal co-founder and noted venture capitalist investor Peter Thiel, announced that he will grant uh, a fellowship award to Vitalik Buterin worth 100,000 by the Thiel Foundation. So he received, Vitalik Buterin received fellowship worth or reward worth $100,000 from Peter Thiel, who is the owner and co-founder of PayPal. So he is a person also connected with uh, Elon Musk because they both are associated with PayPal and they both are, let's say, co-founders of PayPal. So later Vitalik Buterin, after receiving this, this fellowship, he created Ethereum. So to some extent, Many people in the cryptocurrency world know that PayPal, Peter Thiel, they are behind Vitalik Buterin and Ethereum. So this is how we see that PayPal is owner or the organization behind not only Dogecoin via Elon Musk, but they are also the owners of Ethereum via Vitalik Buterin. So we see this, uh, let's say, triangle between PayPal, Dogecoin and Ethereum. And that's why I think uh, it was not a surprise that last year in 2021, Dogecoin welcomed Elon Musk advisors, Ethereum founder Vitalik Buterin to the Dogecoin board. So uh, that was not a surprise in my view, because these are the same people from the same businesses. So Vitalik Buterin, who is co-founder of Ethereum, that was co-founded by PayPal. He 
joined last year the Dogecoin board because we know that this is once again the PayPal uh, uh, cryptocurrency Dogecoin. So we see that this triangle is uh, interconnected. So the same people, the same businesses, the same, let's say, fi financial uh, institutions. So I just wanted to highlight that the, such kind of news, they are not surprised to me because um, I'm uh, very well aware from the cryptocurrency world that Dogecoin, for example, Ethereum, and so on with their influencers such as Elon Musk and Vitalik Buterin, they are co-founded by PayPal. So uh, these are projects of the centralized financial world and uh, I'm not surprised when I see such kind of news. So, fellas, this is what I wanted to highlight today that we have to understand that most of these cryptocurrencies, they belong to big centralized financial institutions. They are run by them. And uh, if you research some other cryptocurrencies, you will receive a similar uh, information. You will see that some banks or uh, famous centralized financial institutions they have uh, run and they have, let's say, created uh, these cryptocurrencies. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please share your point of view as a comment below. Of course, I wish you a very wonderful day. Good luck in the financial markets and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.